Okay, so this week we're going to save you some time. We're going to use one of our value-added products from the, the seafood department. It is a Parmesan crusted flounder. So the only thing we need to do is get our pan of oil hot or get our sheet tray ready to go to bake this product. Um, and it's, it's a built-in meal. So we're going to do a shallow fry on, on this version. We've got our pan on, it's warm, we have our oil in, and it's over about a medium heat, and we've used grapeseed oil. We've talked about this already um, in, other, in other weeks, but grapeseed oil has a really high burn point. It's not going to add a whole bunch of flavor to it, but it's gonna give it a really nice color, okay? So we have our, our grapeseed oil in there, and the, the trick for doing a shallow fry is that you want your oil to basically hit about halfway up your product. You don't want to totally submerge, which would be deep frying. Shallow frying is just half frying on, on each side. So we've got our oil. We know it's hot. A way to test it is to dip a little piece in there. And if you see the bubbles, then you know it's ready. The other big key is to put the oil away from you, or the, the fish down away from you so that the oil doesn't splash, and gently put it in there. You never want to drop it because hot oil splashing is very dangerous. So put our piece of fish in our pan. And we're going to just let that kind of sit in there and, and brown up. Now the oil is going to be the conduit to cook it, to brown it, and keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. So as long as we have a, uh, the warm pan and the warm oil, it shouldn't stick at all for us. And we're going to watch it and just let it brown up around the outside edge. So we're going to cook it about 60 to 70 percent the first side. Gently, easily, carefully turn it to the other side and finish the cooking. So while we're, while we're shallow frying this, pan frying this, we want our oil temperature to be at about 350 degrees. Now, really the only way to tempt that is to either get a candy thermometer put in there, which is a little bit unrealistic based on the amount of oil that's in it, or just looking for it when it just first starts to bubble. Um, and if you have your, your, uh, your gas stove at about medium or your electric stove, I would think probably about three is going to give you the right amount of, of heat from it. You know, obviously your stove is going to be a little bit specific to you, but just watch for that. And then if it goes in there and it starts to burn or there's smoke coming off the oil, pull your food out immediately, pull it off the heat, put it over to the side. Never put you know cold water, never put water on it, never try to, to do anything with it other than move it off to the side. And if you can, possibly cover it with a lid, but otherwise you just want to kind of... Already, so if we look at the tail end here, we can see the nice color and around the rim that it's really starting to get at that nice golden brown. And the smell as well, you can really start to smell that it smells like a... Uh, a fried piece of fish. So we're going to gently put our, our spatula onto the other side and you want to maybe use your hand here as a, whoop, I tried to hold it too long. Try to use it as a guide and turn your fish over gently that way and you can see it's got really nice color. So in one fell swoop we want to hold it and then gently plop it down into the pan again away from you so that the oil spreads out. And the Parmesan cheese you can see there is browned up, but it hasn't burned because our temperature is at about 325, 350 degrees. Don't ever try to adjust it too much because if it's too cool and you try to turn the heat up too much, it's probably going to take you three or four minutes to get that heat coming up through. By that point, it's going to be too hot. Burn your oil, have to throw it away.